Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm here with my lovely friend, Lavanya. Hi guys. And we are going to be testing out one of our favorite things, and that is kombucha. Literally my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, she's a little more into it than it's, me. It's bad, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, it's and good for you. That's the thing, it's healthy, it's delicious. Like, why would you not love it? I mean, that's kind of a hot take. Some people don't think it's that delicious, but I do. I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's great. Um, we're here just like snacking on our little um, wasabi peas. Oh, yeah. They were supposed to be our pilot cleanser, but actually there was a snack. There and our fun little pun that we're doing is we are going to be spilling the tea while we're drinking the tea. Spilling the fermented tea. Spilling, yes, spilling that, the fermented yeah, tea to be, to to be exact. Mind. Yes. Yeah, we've Hold got it. a spread. We do. Like, <laughs> only one alcoholic kombucha though, because we're not trying to get drunk in front of everyone. No. Just yet. Yeah, just yet. <laughs> just yet. Um, okay, so should we just go down the line then? Let's do it. Let's start with probably the most basic but the least basic at the same time yeah, because it's a new so, flavor yeah this is the gt's kombucha 25th anniversary limited edition bottle it's called sacred life and it's a very interesting shade of blue which kind of scares me yeah i was gonna say i'm a little terrified it kind of looks like intense gatorade gt's i think is the most famous most popular and hereby being coined the most basic of yeah the for sure. oh and just so you guys know i chose all new flavors that i've never tried before so i actually haven't tried any of these. She's tried some. Looks. Okay. Let's Cheers. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Tastes kind of like blue raspberry. Yeah, it does. It's like candy. With ginger interspersed. Yeah, definitely. And it's so sweet. It tastes like candy. It smells like cotton candy too. Yeah, it does. This is so yummy. I wonder if this there's blue coloring in here. Oh, the blue spirulina. Oh! Yeah, so it's natural blue color. Hey, that's amazing. Look at that. Okay, so let's get to the first question while we enjoy this yes, little glass. Yes, let's do it. What is the most childish thing that you still do to this day? Okay, mine's super simple. I still sleep with a stuffed animal. I have a stuffed animal who I literally like am obsessed with, um, but my dog chewed out its eyes and I'm still really sad about it. And we keep him, but he's eyeless. And it's like really scary. So that's just really fun for me. Oh, wow. Okay. I just sip this and pretend it's alcohol. I am. Though, for my childish thing, I just I eat PB&Js like all the time. Well, this is from a Colorado based company called Rowdy Mermaid. Rowdy Mermaid used to be my favorite brand. And mm. sorry, guys, I really loved the glass bottles they used to package these in. And they've since switched to aluminum cans, which I'm told are better for the environment. So good for you, but. You're, you're kind of down on my list in terms of favoritism yeah, right now. That's fair. Mm. I like that. Yeah. It's very like light. Mm -hmm. It's like ginger, but without like too much of the spice. And there's a big, not a big, but a very light flowery taste. If you, yeah. I feel like because the ginger is actually light, like you can actually taste the flavor of the tea itself. Like it tastes like tea. Oh, interesting. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot of kombucha, it just tastes like whatever it's flavored, but I feel like I can taste the tea. Oh, you're so right. I've never thought of that once. Tell me about your first kiss. My first kiss was in a bar wow. in LA. I was a lot older than most people are. I think I was 18. Oh, so wow. for those of you that are late to the game, does not mean that much. And I also... <laughs> You know who you are? My relation? <laughs> Go on. I got a late start, but I'm still enjoying the game just as much as Emma over here. So we're we're okay. I told a friend, I was like, yeah, I still have not had my first kiss. And she had a friend over and her friend came over and literally just kissed me. And I was like, okay, cool. And then she came over and kissed me. And then I was like, okay, cool. Two in one night. And Kilpa. that was my first kiss. My first kiss was at church. Um. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, uh, his it was our first date. It was my first ever date. I was in seventh grade. Um, his name was DJ Phillips. Shout out, DJ. Uh, that was an interesting three-week relationship. Great. Um, <laughs> and I remember he was being so dramatic. He was like, oh, like the stars are so beautiful tonight. And I was like, damn, like he's like pulling some moves right now. Yeah. And then he kissed me and I was like, <laughs> this next one is the... Healthy Kombucha, a festive probiotic tea, <laughs> holiday cheers flavor. Um, 
healthy kombucha has like a lot of really good flavors that you probably had before. It's like the, they have a really good pink lady apple one. That and one's the lush. bubbly rose. Yeah, the bubbly no. rose is really good too. It's really good. Um, but yeah, this is also a fairly basic brand. You can probably find it literally at CVS. Cheers. Which you're using every time. Oh, mm. it's so festive. It's like, I really like it's that. It's like nutmeg and cinnamon. It's almost like cidery. Wow. That is so good. That's really nice. It's, yo, I, <laughs> I, I was not expecting this. I thought um, it was going to be pepperminty. Me too. But this is because of the stripes. Looks like a candy cane on the bottle. Also kind of better than I had imagined. It yeah. Would be. No, this, I like would buy this again, not just because it was cute and festive. Has turned the tables on me. What up, healthy? Oh my gosh. What is your strangest family tradition? Strangest family tradition. I think one of my favorite family traditions is Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving mm -hmm. is my favorite holiday. Being Indian favorite American, holiday. what's really great is that we do two feasts oh, really? on the same day. So I will make all of the pies and the mashed potatoes and the turkey and mm -hmm. all of the American esque things, and then my aunt and my mom and everyone you know that was born in India and grew up in India will make all of the Indian food. And That's then there awesome. will be this giant platter oh, of food. And it never ends. Amazing. And then you have about two weeks of just no need to cook. My favorite family tradition is um, actually just a full on holiday and it is called Slava. And okay. it is the uh, Eastern European Slavic way of celebrating one's patron saint. Oh, yeah. Okay. My family isn't super particularly religious, but it is a holiday that we've always celebrated. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a thing like it's passed down to the eldest son, like Aww, and that okay. person is supposed to host Slava for the whole family every year. But it's super fun and we just get to eat like Russian food and caviar and mm -hmm. lots of vodka. Mm -hmm. And nice. uh, we also like make this weird little nut cake, but like just the family comes into the room and we're like, now we will eat the sacred cake. <laughs> and it's just so <laughs> weird and fun. And then we share the cake with everybody after we all get a bite. Oh, nice. It's time. That sounds adorable. Um, the next one we're going to be trying, uh, Miss Lavanya brought for us, and it is Pilot Kombucha Blueberry Lemongrass. Do you have any fun facts? Well, I really love that they have fun flavors. So blueberry lemongrass is what we're trying today, but they also have a really lovely peach lavender. Mm -hmm. If anyone is at the store who wants to get a shot. I'm like smelling it like a wine taster. Oh my God, we're, gonna give it a, we're gonna give it a swirl, just like one. It's the color of rose, like Is a deep. It? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's different. I like that better than I thought I would. I was expecting kind of artificial blueberry, which I don't love. No, no, no. It's, no, this is really good. It's more sour than some of the other ones have been. I like that though. I like but it's, sour. Yeah. What is the most awkward date you've ever been on? Jeez. Do you want me to start? <laughs> you, yeah. Okay. You. Um, so the date where the guy asked me to move in with him on the first date, um, that was like a tad awkward. Um, he was a pretty nice guy. Like, okay. seemed like he had his stuff together. He was like a few years older than me. So it makes sense he's like trying to settle down or whatever. But he not only asked me to move in with him, but was like, yeah, I'm actively like looking for someone to move to Long Island with me. Right. Do you want to be that person? And I was like, no. Except I didn't say that because I'm too nice. I was just like, oh, like fine, cool. Yeah, no, I can see why you're like looking for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, cool, cool. I was like, would you like walk me home? Like <laughs> <laughs> I get along well with a variety of people and mm -hmm. sometimes I will be sitting down with them and they might think it's a date. And that's, that's awkward. That's when someone kind thinks of, you're on a date and you're not on a date. That's kind of awkward. And there are points where I go, you're saying something and now I don't know if we're on a date. I hate that. Because I don't yeah. think we are, but, but if we, we might are, be. Yeah. but I don't want to say something. Yeah. Because then there. I, yeah. Another awkward moment on a date was the whole date itself wasn't awkward. The date was fun, but uh, the awkward moment was we were ice skating at Bryant Park last year, which like so cute, kind of yeah. romantic for a first date. Like we get out there on the ice and I'm so nervous thinking like, you know, I'm gonna be awful. I don't really know how to ice skate. Like I'm gonna fall, mm -hmm. but I got the hang of it pretty okay. Like yeah. I was by no means good, but he was worse. He was worse. And this guy, like we're going pretty good. And he acted like he knew what he was doing, but he literally fell, pulled me down with him. And yet somehow, even though he fell first, we felt like that. So he fell on top of me like this and an eighth grader skates by and just goes, missionary. 
<laughs> and I was like, cool. So, so the next one is by far the prettiest one. And look at this oh, yeah. bottle. This is the Wild Tonic Raspberry Goji Rose June Kombucha. Made I also, with organic honey. I also don't know what Jun means. If anyone out there knows. Yeah, I don't know. I, cheers. cheers. That's good. It's so yummy. I can taste the honey. Oh yeah. And the rose big time. It's oh, yeah. rose and honey. This is very like soothing. Why are you single? <laughs> First of all, you have no way of knowing that I'm still single. Are, are you still single? I am still single. Yeah, okay, yes. so why are you still single? <laughs> that's that's a great question. I'm told a lot of the times it's because I'm picky. To anyone else out there that's single and they're being told they're picky, that's okay. Because yeah. I would rather be picky than settle. settle. I, uh, <laughs> I'm still single because I have nice suitors and I just don't like them. So that's not a bad problem to have though. Oh, it is though, because they're nice and lovely, and then I'm like, oh, you're cute. Great. Like, I'll lead you on for a good 10 minutes and then be like, gotta go, gotta go, like, gotta blast. <laughs> All right, our second to last one, Great. ladies and gentlemen. No, this one is spicy. Yeah, I love spicy drinks, personally. It's, this is a bear's fruit kombucha, strawberry jalapeno. I bet this would be delicious with some tequila. Oh, yeah. You're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Been there. Cheers on that note. Oh my god. I love this. You can taste both of the flavors. The jalapeno isn't just spice. It's like, like, it's a flavor. Really flavorful. It's a flavor. Like, you can taste like the notes of the actual jalapeno flavor that aren't just spicy. Yeah. You can even smell them. Oh my god, that tastes so good. It's definitely less of a like I chill drinking this while I'm doing homework bottle. No, this is like I kind of want to pregame and I'm gonna mix this with some liquor. Yeah. Or like, I maybe I'd take this to like wake up. Or that. You know, like you it's know. like an early morning. I gotta get my shit together. I'm like I'm gonna down the strawberry jalapeno. What is something that you are into that you think people would be surprised you're into? I'm super into really nerdy books and movies. Like I'm obsessed with the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Hobbits and everything in that universe. So yeah, I think that's maybe a little off brand for me, but I dig it. I'm a stress baker mm -hmm. and I don't think a lot of people would know that about me. I used to bake like crazy. I bake a lot. I, yeah, you do. I, yeah, this this is no surprise to anyone. It's No, it's not. <laughs> um, one more. Okay, so this well, one is June Shine Hard Kombucha. Organic, probiotic, and gluten-free. And the flavor is blood orange mint. It's 6% alcohol volume, so akin to like a strong beer. Yeah. Like even just a normal beer, really. Yeah, Um, I think the packaging is super cute on this one as well. The packaging, the bottle, I don't know. I'm so used to makeup. Cheers. And actual reason to cheers. Because oh yeah, actual alcohol. Cheers. There we go. It's good. It's flowery. Okay, we need one last question. Oh yeah. What are three things that turn you on about someone? Ooh. We're gonna keep it generally clean. Like not things Typically. they be doing in the bedroom. We're Just, not talking about all that. <laughs> Just things about them yeah, that would yeah. turn you on. I think kindness goes a really long way. That's so pure. It's, yeah. But pure, yeah. Pure, you know, it's hard to come by these days. Yeah. But then also, I'm a sucker for eyes. Yeah like a good pair of, mm -hmm. just you look into them, like I'm looking into yours, mm -hmm. and there's just depth yeah, to them. For sure. And then I'm really big on smell, actually. Yeah, me too. And there's something about, I can never place what the scent is. Okay, so smell, kindness, and what was the other one you said? And eyes. And eyes, just, okay. Just depth of eyes. Mine, going along with the kindness thing, this is really pure, but like when a guy is really good with kids, I'm like, yeah. let's have some, like get on me. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you're really good with kids, like, that's very cute. Um, not that I want any babies anytime soon, but just saying. Um, and then probably also, hmm, oh, a nice smile. Yeah. Like, but like, not like a pure smile, like a mischievous smile, you know? I'm gonna go with eyes too, okay. but specifically, like someone who knows how to really maintain eye contact. Oh, because yeah. Because I find, and I've actually gotten this on dates, guys will be like, Wow, like you're you're like looking at me so intensely, and I'm like, <laughs> you mean I'm like making, making eye, eye contact, contact with you? 
they're like yeah they're like you, gosh you just like they'll get all blushy they'll be like wow wow like you, you're just really looking at me like making me feel some type of way and i'm like bro like i'm just maintaining eye contact yeah like maybe a lot of people are really nervous on dates so they like you know are kind of like just like not really making eye contact but literally i'll sit down and be like tell me about yourself a guy who can maintain eye contact confidently it's kind I, of a like low bar but okay this was so fun okay we need to choose the best, our, the best. I think the best tasting one mm -hmm. is probably the Pilot Kombucha Blueberry Lemongrass okay. in my mind. The one that I would probably buy again and drink the most is the Holiday Cheers one. It's just so drinkable and it's easy really, and tasty yeah. and light. Like I loved it. And then there's just always going to be a special place in my heart for the one with alcohol in it. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to choose Bear's Fruit just because I think it checks all of my boxes. It also I'm not gonna lie, really love the holiday cheers. So good, like surprisingly good. I think just because I could taste the green tea. Yeah, in you it, really can. You really have a good idea. So even though you're not my top favorite anymore, Ratty Mermaid, still love you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel. You can also, also, Ring the bell if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.